Hello folks and welcome back to my spring. Here we are with Skizzy here and yeah, we're still at the moment is moving some of these pallets out of the way, so Space to obviously sort it, but yeah, for now, I'm just gonna move up out of the way so any more bags we have we can kind of spawn. She actually got bags do we have here? I'll have a little bit look here a sec. So we've got cream potatoes, sea potatoes, and premium potatoes. these bags a thousand liters each so I think yes that uh, to distribution sounds about right the steeds yeah it doesn't make sense so we'll just get another pallet for that and in fairness we can actually go ahead and sell the seeds so yep yeah, seed is, is the middle one here so can I grab both of them without grabbing the others Yes, and we can just about lift them. See that, but yeah, not really. But if we can get them out just enough, then we can get these uh, on the other tools like the Tayander or Wheel Looter to maneuver them and sell them. Actually, is it a good time to sell the sea potato? So I'm not sure actually what the best prices for them are, so let's go and have a little look here, shall we? Down the bottom somewhere. Da 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 da. Wait, oh, we're in April now, so yeah, price is gonna go down, so let's quickly sell them. So I'll just have a lose there in front of the wheel over. I might have gone down a little bit, that's because I accidentally bought another Kabuta wheel loader or Skid because I thought, yeah, well, that's one of the things I recall of us needing, but I didn't before we bought it. However, as it turns out, we did buy it, so yeah, that's about 30 grand or so wasted. But anyways, we got a lot of work to do anyways today, so let me just get these on here a sec. the best place to sell them by spring mart oh, that's all the way up north so you know what heck it the price is the lowest here but I was gonna take it to the end across the road from here so bear with me a sec and there we go so sell the point is yeah just say fair as I wonder where it was and it is here so let's go and sell these but there, so yeah, 1100 quid, there's nothing to shout home about. But yeah, we'll park that here for now, because what we need to do is actually some farming. So, in that episode, we bought fields 143 and 144 and 142, as I just remembered of what we've gone and done. And, yep, yeah, I've gone and mulched a lot of the areas. I can't remember what's how we was going to do with these. Oh, and 154. So yeah, we've got those to do. we got spraying to do. And yeah, we've got... Pretty much got a whole lot of stuff to do. So, I think the best thing to do is get the worker. On the... No, no, no. Go sh don't do that, mate. Go straight. Get the worker on the mulching. Because remember, we're doing all this because we need to get that environment score up. So I think emulsion of grass would help us with that. So what's that's that? We need to do some spraying on the fields over here. So yeah, that's going to be a bit of work. So let's hop into the John Deere RT. Yeah, we could have used like the Kabuta or something, but I thought, okay. 
got us here already, new Hans at the BGA. And yeah, just look at that mouth filled with that sunrise and a haze. Well, the sun's already up, but that haze from the sun. Okay, if we have a look, it's pretty much. It's more or less everywhere of where the fields were, so. Of course, we're gonna get a bit of a penalty because we have allowed them to germinate. So, obviously, the best time to do spraying is preventive spraying before they have a chance to germinate, so. Let's think, can we get over that hedgerow? Yes, we can. And we are seeing the sprayer is going down. And I think, yeah, top down view would be best because then we can have a proper look at basically where we've not sure been, but where we need to be at. So, let's have a quick look here. Set map update, and there we go. Apparently, we've missed bits already, so. This is gonna be fun to do and that and deal with. It's gonna take a bit of time to get everything done, so I think start for the episode is a little quick time lapse of doing spraying. So yeah, we need to spray this and then spray up here. So yeah. I'll go and get that done and I'll see you folks in a few moments once we're done. <laughs> Just over two loads. 
So yeah, what I'm going to do is use New Holland and maybe the John Deere. Because we need to get seeding and planting straight away. Because the soybeans are going to go into this mega field to our left. Soybeans are going to go in there. I think you can put in corn in there. The other three fields are not too short as of yet. Or four fields. Maybe more soybeans. Like, yeah, I want to do soy, yeah, soybeans, corn, sunflower, including on those two. And maybe even more soybeans down here. Let's check the pH nitrogen sec. So, can't really do. We could do soybeans on these two fields here. Yeah, I think if we do soybeans and soybeans there as well, because they do require any nitrogen. Because otherwise, if we put another crop in, it's going to affect the pH in that. Like with this field here, it's going to be interesting to see what crop we get. Maybe do poplar or something, get some wood chips out of it, maybe. But yeah, let's focus on the other fields first of all. Okay, let's grab one more load. And with that final load, it should take all this a little bit, I think it will take, but we'll leave the rest here. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, we'll leave the rest. Let's double check in how much. Yeah, 121,000 litres. And actually, we do have some calves, I think. Yeah, some recently new calves, so maybe at some point we can start selling some of the older cows like that is 32 months so maybe once that hits for six months we can sell that one because i think yeah cause see the feet yeah the difference is they go down in value so actually yeah i think once we get down the feed and that we'll sell those 14 cows yeah because it's 36 months, that's when they go down in value. Actually, even maybe you can go with some more bulls in that, because yeah, there are 10 months old at the moment, those ones. But yeah, that's a different option for us, so... I think what we'll do is get this hooked up onto the planter. Which is just over here in the other field. There we go, yep, left it just over here. So you get this hooked up. Blue on blue. So you're actually doing sunflower here, so yeah, we'll do some yeah, soybeans, sunflower, corn up top, soybeans, soybean. And yeah, we could get away with soybeans there, but it's going to affect our environmental score. So maybe. Let's just look at what we can plan, actually. So. We can do either oats. That will be harvested in September. Sorghum, perhaps. Yeah, there's a bit of a different crop. So yeah, let's do sorghum or even sugar beet, perhaps. Something different there. Yeah, do we actually what do we need for our productions? Because we well since I've recorded an episode, so our potato productions is not down here, it's up here. So yeah, sugar be cut maybe for the BGA. Got tons of potatoes, so that's thing we're gonna go go down the route of most of these I don't think because yeah we shouldn't have the facilities for that so potatoes corn and all that we're already producing onions that from the greenhouses maybe some yeah I've got plain potatoes on the go that sunflower Got, we've already got canoe on the go, so we're fine for vegetable fat. Yeah, soybeans. 
potato gratin. Oh, pancakes. All that requires is eggs, vegetable fat we're going to be producing. And we get the starches at. Yeah, from the premium potatoes. Cheese. We're making that butter. We're making that. So, yeah, I'm thinking we could do just a second. Let's do corn on those fields. That's, I think, be the way to go. Yeah, we've got a large sunflower field here. So, yeah. Those two other fields will be sunflower, I think. So, yeah, that requires a lot of seeding, rolling. And since we're already done putting on the application of fertilizer, we shouldn't really need to put any more fertilizer down on these fields. So, that's what I love about precision farming is. We can get away with that. Let's not hit anything, please. Yeah, and our seed consumption rate is pretty high-ish. 14 seeds per cubic meter. Or a pure square meter, not cubic. Get your math correct, Envoy. But yeah, looking at here, doesn't require too much fertilizer. We're looking at 15, 25 kilograms per hectare, so... Yeah, already barely using a fertilizer hand. What do I keep on hitting the bushes and trees? Come on. There we go. See, so, yeah, I think that's what we do. Oh, yeah, the bushes again. That's the thing is, get the head done. I shouldn't read plow so close to the hedgerows, but it's not court farms where you can get away with clipping hedgerows. No, these. Well, we'll get there eventually. So yeah, I think what we do is best way to get this done is a little time lapse. So yeah, let's start getting the scene done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done, and then we'll start rolling some of these fills. I think.
we go. We are done with the corn planting on this field over here and all of the sunflower. The soybean field is coming along very well. That is almost done, I think. Yeah, just a few bits there. And then we'll just go over it manually and get those bits we've missed. But yeah, the PDA is looking very good now. And we just quickly topped up supplies. We're going to need even more liquid fertilizer, I think, for the plants are next. Because corn requires a high amount of nitrogen. So, yeah, we're going to be consuming a fair bit and realize the potatoes they need to be fertilized as well. But that is for another day. So, no, this is our field. We're going to do the sections of small fields. Or do we, yeah, I think do the bigger field first of all, and then we'll come back up to do this one here later on. Aldi is a bit disjointed, actually we could, in theory, just get rid of the hedgerows and merge these two fields, but, yeah, I think we've probably done enough of that, so, yeah, let's do the big field first of all, as the soybean field is workers done with soybeans and I need to be careful with the planter because the lanes are super tight and we can just about get our waves through. Obviously it's helped me remove some of the gates. Obviously that leaves us vulnerable of course to people accessing the field just rounding on it. But so far we've been alright with the locals and that so hopefully it ain't going to be too much of an issue. Just gonna do corn on all these fields up here. I think that's gonna be interesting to do the corn on that. Actually, I think we can also do sugar beet as well. We can't do cotton here, unfortunately, so. And yeah, just look at that on the top there. For of course, 200 kilograms of nitrogen. Because, yeah. yeah, maybe we should save corn for that field at the bottom we had issues with. We're going to have issues with, but actually, soybeans. Yeah, sugar beet doesn't need any additional fertilizer. Maybe we can do. Should we do corn at the bottom? I don't know. Makes sense for like nitrogen's sake, but that just means when it comes to harvest, we have to take the harvester elsewhere, but. Rather than leaving it in one area to do sunflower and all that, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, we're going through a lot of nitrogen here. I think as before, what we'll do is just do the headlands, and then we'll think, start fertilizing some of these fields, I think. Because, yeah, that needs to be done as well. Along with the roll now, that's why we're going to see in April for at least two episodes. This one and the next one as we get things on the roll. Well, this in the next episode will be a lot of rolling. But I'll find other things to do. There are some contracts we can do, but at the moment we need to prioritize our own farm. And as you may notice, like me just going around doing the headlands on. Yeah, don't not try to go too close to the edge. If you miss some bits on the edge, as long as it looks clean and tidy, that is perfectly fine with me. So there we go, just turn around. Oops, I want to say that we did clip my hedgerow, so yeah. Just give me a few moments, do this headland, and then we'll get the work on it. And then we'll look at fertilizing the fields. There we go, got the worker on the way, and it should, shouldn't take too long, I don't think. And yeah, we'll pick up the John Deere from the deep ship. Which is just how they do interim service. So yeah, I think, yeah, where is the uh, first spreader? I think that's on the farm, I think. That's just actually going through our potato fields. Hey, here's a little shortcut. And some mashed potatoes. Everyone loves some mashed potatoes, so... Having a few little squished potatoes. 
do see that being an issue. I think we're actually going to be producing mashed potatoes, so yeah, we're just pre mashing the mashed potatoes. So yeah, I think it's over. Hopefully, it's at the farm. Hopefully, it's one of those things we haven't sold in that. I don't see why we should off, but that's the line. I actually got to look at my own equipment, so yeah, got two of these, so that's lime. We don't need that. Rollers over there ready. And oh there we go, it's under there. Actually what's that? A cultivator? The then can hold them. Hmm. Maybe, yeah, we still need the coal there because obviously you can't direct drill. Actually, we can direct drill everything, right? Because these are both direct drills. That is. Oh no. That's uh, just a carrow. So actually, we can get away with saying that because, yeah, look at that. Only 0.5 work hours on it. Maybe we'll keep it for the like, contracts and that, but besides from that, there's no real use of it. Finances wise we're fine at the moment. I'm not really gonna be spending on more fields than that. We could spend easy money on more fields than that, but so yeah it's got some fertilizer in there at the moment. And according to when we've been driving the planter over the sh potato field needs fertilizing. Didn't think so, but apparently it does so Let's go and have a little look here, shall we? Let's get the data, and yeah, it does need fertilizer, so... I think we're going to be needing some more fertilizer, so... Let's go ahead and just buy a bunch, so... Let's say five bags for now. Go. So we're putting down application rate of three, about 300 kilograms per hectare at the moment. So this may be a bit of a long doing. I wish we had like the 42 meter spreader. Yes, we required us to fill up a bit more and a bit more often, but she has like none of it's had fertilizer. That makes sense because the potato planter didn't have a fer fertilizer option on it, like a liquid fertilizer tank rain thing like that. We even a solid fertilizer tank like our cedar, so yeah, I guess that makes sense. And if we just have a look on the PDA, so yep, it requires 100 kilograms per hectare. And that's going to be a solid application, right? Or is it a different soil textures? So yeah, at the moment we're on loamy sand, but then we're going to go into sandy loam and hit a touch of silty clay. And yeah, what's that? Very much score detail on nitrogen, so hopefully once we're done, a lot of these are going to be at 100. pH level, that's the line, my fault. Why are some bits saying it hasn't got all of the lime on? I'll go over afterwards, see if we can put more lime on, but... Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not too sh sure now why that's saying that, but... Anyways, let's get the fertilizing done. And I'll see you folks afterwards, once we're done. But this is field, and by then... Yeah, the corn will be done, we'll get moved over to another field, I'm not sure which one yet, but yeah, we'll get it all done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
are done with spraying and I've gone and tried to put a, well, tried to put a pre-application down off herbicide, but obviously not getting no weeds, but we're getting the texture changes, it's easy to tell, like, yeah, like here, that's dark, and that's light, so I'm guessing it's doing something, but I am honestly not too sure. Yeah, give it a go on that, and see if that helps us with the preventative spraying of the herbicides. And if it works, then obviously, that's where you have to get new weeds. You just spray your weeds in that, and use no herbicides. That, yeah, I think, honestly, I am happy with that. And if you look at the PDA, Got it done, got the corn fields all done, so that's the corn planted. So all it needs now is soybeans down here at 142, corn here, and then frigate, let's do sugar beets. Because do I have the production for sugar beets? No me, probably, or probably not. Grass dryer, it's an oil plant. Yeah, so yeah, we've got these here, so we could obviously make a few things, and that's the thing, like, I'll easily fall into a trap of producing everything from here, but really, yeah, it's only going to be, like, the sugar we're going to be making, and maybe some cakes and that, if we go down that particular route. But yeah, apart from that, yeah, not really much else, so... Oh yeah, we can do soybeans. I think we can use this since we've got it. So one four two. That's the field behind us. And how do we access it? Is it to this side? No, it's to the other side. Fair enough. Hopefully we can get out without smashing it. That's it. Let's get out without giving it a good old smash. Come on. Actually, yeah, where is the traffic today? It's like, literally no traffic. I guess it's a Sunday or something. I never was having the day off or something, perhaps, but... Yeah, I got no idea, but... Anywho. Actually, where does that lane lead up to? I've never... explored this part, so that leads to... Ah, the grass fields over here, so we don't need that, so... But yeah, anyways, that's a good bit of information to know. Okay, you know, in the future I may buy those fields and merge them together or something, but... Yeah, I don't think we're doing more field merges, it's sort of... In a way, it's destroying the map as it was intended, but then again... It was also having the option of removing those... pesky bushes. So in a way, yeah... Yeah, not sure, but anyways, there we go. Putting the soybeans down here, and thankfully don't need to use any liquid fertilizer, because we've only got like a thousand years left in storage, well, at the shop, so that'd be used for when we do like sugar beets and that, I'm sure. But anyways, that is where we're going to leave it today. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode, so next time it's pretty much finishing everything off and actually give a test on can we prevent to spray our weeds like our cropping out to get no weeds and also got the wrong to do so yeah I've got a fair few bits but anyways as always hope you enjoyed the episode if so smash that button feel free to go down below if you want to share us then please be my guest if you're not subscribed channel yet then please consider but for a to do, hope you had a nice day. But for now, it's me farmer at Foy Extreme, and I'll see you all a very soon.